Oh, ho, ho, the phalanx files are starting. I've put a chest down, but I'm not sure. Hello, Petr Baelish. The seven have witnessed your love and bestow their highest blessing. I belong to you and you belong to me. From this day on, till that do us part. Hello and welcome to this very delightful and celebrative video. So first things first, in order to celebrate the most, you can actually buy a new commander called Let's Karin. So let's buy Karin and let's see what she really does because that's absolutely amazing. Tap to unlock. Yeah, you can come now. What is she wearing? Oh, she's like one of the faceless. That's beautiful. Finally, a somewhat evil character. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. So, what does she have for skills? She... Oh my god, she increases the infantry health, attack and defense by 40% at max level. That is really a massive amount. Especially if you have a heavy infantry front line. That's absolutely so strong. So she seems to be recovering health for herself. That's interesting. And reduce the might. So that is actually in the League of Varus or might even replace Varus because she will be able to, for example, when fighting a Sansa, just keep knocking that might bar down. Then we have Lightbreaker. Attacks deals additional damage equal to 10% of the enemy targets to current max health, kept at 274 damage. So since she's level 1, it's a bit weird. So let's level her up real fast. Okay, this is a lot better. So she does 10% of the enemy targets current max health, kept at 4700. Oh, great. And that's already a lot. If you imagine... Putting her in the Weirwood Memories, that will absolutely do a lot of damage. And I think in things like the Training Grounds, it will just be more balanced. Then she adds some to Defense. I see she has a pretty high health, but also a pretty high defense. So you can probably put her just fine on the front line as well. It's a bit in the league with Hector and the other new champions. Enzo, high damage, high defense. You can just put them pretty much everywhere you want. And seeing of course how their stats are built it's pretty much the infantry version of those two as well so that looks absolutely uh, incredibly strong actually it's very well done because it really fits in the game a lot better than actually the others because this is actually a real thing that happened to daenerys well these champions can be placed on various locations. Especially Hector just comes from the Greek mythology more than the Game of Thrones. Okay, so that's the new champion. And if we quickly go to our new building, Ceremonial Sept. And for now, you can only choose to be single or start a wedding. You can get a Ring of Comfort and it gives 1% total defense, hospital capacity and free speed up time. Or you can get the Ring of Luxury, which gives 3% extra total defense, 200 extra hospital capacity, and a little bit more free speed up time, 12. And you can level these rings up later as well, once you get married. So here you can also choose a marriage partner. Yeah, it, they need to be in the same kingdom, of course, else you can't do the whole wedding thing. And once you propose to them, and you'll see three wedding things on the world map. Let's go to the one of High Garden. And as when there's no ceremony going on, you'll see no tables, no extra celebratory armaments, etc. But you can click on the building and propose. Now, that's pretty much the same menu. You can, however, see some more info as well. So you see how the marriage proposal works. The initiator selects a bride, selects the size of the wedding gift, proposes and waits for the response. And then the recipient selects the wedding preparation place and then you hold the wedding and you can actually get guests as well and you can do that with this button as well we'll do that in a minute so the news says as follow net starks relentless foreboding warnings came true winter in westeros is here and it looks like it's going to be for a while but far beyond the wall in our world the season isn't winter it's weddings and this message actually points towards Army of the Dead and all the events around it. The wedding system is now available in-game. All players can choose freely to marry someone from the same kingdom 
or stay single. So the people need to be on the same kingdom and that makes sense as you can't go both to the same wedding citadel. Whether single or not, you'll gain some stats if you have a ring. Married couple in the game will be able to unlock exclusive skills by increasing their charm to level up their wedding rings and activate truths for both. The whole wedding process will last about 30 minutes in game. Now we'll check how to increase the ring once we have it, but what they're basically saying is if you go to the VIP shop, the VIP shop, you can actually now buy charm and already done it and this actually they added this nice little thing as well the card where you can just throw on everything without getting the warning are you sure you want to spend blue diamonds blah blah and it will all show up in your cart now you can very quickly buy stuff by simply adding them to your cart i'm actually buying grain am i not yes today we're buying grain and you see your cart and it's all there and you can just quick purchase like that so that's absolutely a beautiful the thing they added as well so what up next well if you go to your rookery you can see actually something that makes a lot more sense now and you'll see my protector and lord under my protector. so that means you have an extra slot for your partner they can actually be protected by you or protect you requirements to get married two players must be unmarried and be in the same kingdom to stay single unmarried players can choose to stay single meanwhile if you stay single you swear the knight's watch oath you won't receive any proposal message and you can choose to stay single if you don't want to get married in game you can choose from two different rings and activate single status unmarried players can exchange single signet ring to activate single status so that's the only thing we show you from this post because that's the, actually the part we're not going to take of course we're going to get married Yes, okay, let's go. We found someone who is willing to marry me. It was harder than I anticipated. <laughs> let's go to the... How is it called? A sept. Oh, it's just a sept. Let's go to the High Garden Sept. And we'll make an exquisite wedding. But first we'll select our partner. 69 in the description. You know how this is going to go for me. On our wedding night. You'll select your partner. And you'll s choose <laughs> the... the Exquisite ceremonial gift. Ooh, that's so expensive. I don't know you yet. But let us get married. <laughs> that's all I could type anyway. Propose. Haha, <laughs> I did it. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I can actually upgrade for only 500 now. Yes, we've done it. We have a wedding coming up. Alright. Let's go to the sept. If she's ready. You ready? I can still dump her now. Um, we'll go to the river and sept. No, we'll go to the... Okay, we'll go to the high god. No, we'll go to the river and sept. Now, be ready, girl. Oh, she's ready. Okay, so we have done all these steps. Let's go to the sept. Ah, oh, just go. Ah, oh, beautiful. My carriage is on fire. Fire of my love. Fireworks, everything. We shall move to the sept. We're already together in the carriage. That makes sense. So that's why there's only one arrow. I ruined a message already. Nobody warned me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Ruined my proposal. I always type so fast. My brain is too fast. So I can't um, type fast enough. Okay, let's do this. Yay. All these fireworks. It's gorgeous. You know your love will be hot and fiery when it's going to look like this in this carriage. 38 seconds and we will sure arrive at our destination. Guests are entering in 5 minutes. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so the next, this whole thing is going on. So let's invite everyone. Arrived at the set. Sept. Arrived at the set. Congratulations of the wedding of Reaper, Reaper Iowa Mysteria at River Run. Sept. Everyone is welcome to attend. I had to read slower because the message was going so slow. Okay, here's our wedding. Be oh, this is beautifully done. Are we actually near a hive? This is very well done, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So let us invite more people. I think I can um, use all this stuff. Oh, there's people coming already. There's people coming already. That's gorgeous. Is that a world invitation? Oh, it's a world invitation. I can do fireworks? Yes, we shall. So, oh, we're actually standing there. That's gorgeous. I didn't see that before. Yes, I am Obin, probably. I think they made me Obin. And they made her, well, pretty much Sheila. Which is kind of nice because her picture is like that. Oh, now they see me without a mask. That's horrible. I will do a chest if, if everybody's here. So we'll wait for the invitations. And that is... 
Oh, there's only 20 seconds left. Shall we put a chest down now? Okay, I'll just put a chest down now. It's gonna cost me 100 black diamonds, as the chest is gonna have rewards for everyone. So <laughs> everyone who not joined it was like, oh, it's a stupid thing. Well, you missed out a lot of stuff here. Can I click on my own chest? I kind of paid for it. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, the Felix Fowls are starting. I put a chest down, but I'm not sure. Hello, Petter Baelish. The seven have witnessed your love and bestow their highest blessing. I belong to you and you belong to me. From this day on, till death do us part. That is a very young being. One heart, one mind. I belong to you and you belong to me from this day on till death do us part. The seven bless you. I can't even read that fast. Very nice. Oh, we can do it here. Ah! Oh, I can claim it just from here. There was actually one people attending, so I'm really happy that at least one of you guys showed up. I think that's two, because I see Wolfie. So yes, it's kind of sad that some people actually missed that beautiful chest. You just have to join the weddings, guys. If somebody's dropping chests, you're gonna miss out on those. You don't want to miss out on those. Okay, so you can see you only get a few things. It's not that big, but it's absolutely fun. And there's a lot of stuff in there, and it can be shared uh, to the first ten who clicks, actually. And the same for this one. I actually got more from the normal chest. But the others got a lot of money from it. Can we just have our wedding night now? Because <laughs> this is just gonna take forever. Are you gonna walk another circle? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we not going to the same tent? We are supposed to get married now. Ridiculous. Over? Our love is over? Or our marriage? That's a really wrong name for that it is the wedding has concluded okay so let's go back to the set now. Oh, you can dissolve from here now true special effect partner special effect the ring is right there I can equip it with you there you go and I can upgrade it with charm from there you can view and then upgrade it but then I'll need some more charm and I can I can't just buy charm unless you actually use black diamonds and this one has a limit as well so the charm you can buy either every day for blue diamonds and in two days you can actually level it up to level one unless you actually use some of this it's not that expensive and then you can level up it a little bit faster now as you can see the skills will unlock at a certain amount of charm. So that's actually a pretty high amount of charm. Because even when I'm upgrading with, with both black diamonds and blue diamonds, I can't yet get to the first skill yet. It will cost me 3600 charm. The second one even costs 10,000. And don't forget to subscribe, like if you liked it, and hope you learned something from this. It is actually a very good patch also for the chroniclers, because if you are an authorized chronicler, you can now officially post videos as well.